Hello seniors, this is Mr. Hollett coming to you from the Counseling Center with some tips on how to avoid errors in your planning for after high school. No matter what path you're considering, one common error is senioritis, the tendency to uh, put forth less effort in your senior year. And unfortunately, if it's a particularly serious case of senioritis, that can result in your post-secondary plans being ruined, like not being able to go to the college that you were hoping to go to, or not being able to get the job that you want. So in order to remedy that, make sure that you don't stop working hard during senior year. In fact, make this your best year ever. Those of you who are heading to the military, please make sure that you are completing all paperwork that you need and that any messages that your recruiter leaves for you, you are answering promptly. I have seen cases where students have failed to do that and as a result, they were not allowed to be inducted into the service. So again, make sure all information is being given to the recruiter in a timely manner. Those of you who are headed for full-time employment, please make sure that you are providing employers with information they need, like your resume and application. Sometimes there are cases where people don't do that and they're somehow surprised when they're not able to get a job. In other cases, a person is offered a job, but they take way too long to respond to the employer's offer and the employer then moves on to someone else with that job offer. So be sure that you are maintaining good communications with employers. And if you do wind up getting a job, yay! But make sure that you are abiding by your employer's expectations on the job. For example, if they say that you cannot be late for your shift, don't be late. Or if they have other rules like no facial piercings while you're working, that's the rule and you have to abide by that. So be sure you're doing that and you will keep your job. Those of you who are headed for a two- or four-year college, remember that you do need to get those college applications in as soon as possible. Otherwise, you might not be admitted to the college of your choice. We have recommended that you get that done by the end of October, which has already passed. But if you can at least make sure to get those done by the middle of November, you should still have a chance of getting good consideration. But any later than that, you are taking a risk. Also, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, needs to be completed as soon as possible. Remarkably, last year, those seniors who graduated in the class of 2018 across the United States lost out on $2.6 billion in federal student aid simply because they did not fill out a FAFSA and submit it. So make sure that you're not one of those students and get that FAFSA done as soon as possible. A similar error that is sometimes made is not applying for scholarships, especially local scholarships. I've talked to you about that before in a couple of other advisory lessons, uh, and remarkably, last year there were at least a few thousand dollars in local scholarship money that was never claimed because there were the people did not apply for specific scholarships. So again, go to the SPEF website and look at the local scholarships and start working on the scholarship essays. And make certain that on January 30th, you attend our local scholarship workshop to get all the information you need on doing the application. As that time draws closer, we will have a lot more promotion of that event. Also, uh, sometimes people, when they look at what college they want to go to, they have a lot of factors in mind, such as they want to get a good education, of course, but also they might be attracted to going somewhere that's far from home, or they might be attracted to the name of the university and feel that that might impress future employers and so on. But occasionally someone will make a decision to go to a college that is more expensive than they really needed to. Uh, and as a result, they take on too much student loan debt. So the best way to avoid this is to recognize that you're primarily going to college to build your skills, to become employable after you get your degree. Those of you that are going to a four-year college to seek a bachelor's degree, it's important to keep in mind that today there are actually more people with bachelor's degrees seeking jobs than there are job openings that require a bachelor's degree for the position. So it's really very important that you focus on getting those skills rather than the other factors. And if you do get student loans, be sure you read the fine print. Otherwise, you might get saddled with too much debt or have to make too many uh, interest payments, for example. 
And this year, for the first time ever, we're actually going to have a workshop for seniors and their parents, a student debt workshop that will be on Wednesday, January 16th. And as that event draws near, we will have more promotion for that to make sure that you are all aware. On these uh, issues and any others as you prepare for life after high school, if you have questions, please come to the Counseling Center and sign up to see your counselor. We'll be happy to help you navigate through all the different things that you need to get set up for your future. That's all for today. Have a great day.